What it do, people? This your boy Lee Black, the host of Real Talk for Real Men, coming to you live with another TFG Ratchet moment. In case you don't know, check us out on YouTube and Facebook under the title TFG Ratchet. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, I would love to hear your comments. You know, some of the shit that I talk about, I want to hear what you think, not just me. I'm an opinionated SOB no matter what. And so the views that I express, they do not necessarily belong to the channel, but to me, Lee Black. And if you want to hear my full take on shit as only I deliver it, subscribe to my channel. Real Talk for Real Men. Yes, you can find me under YouTube and you can find me under Facebook. Snoop Dogg, Percy Miller, otherwise known as Master P. These boys, they're not playing. They're suing Walmart. If you don't know, they have a cereal line and they had an agreement with Walmart and initially it lost, launched in July of 2023. And according to records, it did pretty good initially. The launch went off successfully. But now it seems that people are having a hard time finding the cereal of Snoop Dogg and Master P. And Snoop Dogg and Master P, they basically said that they had a vision to create a family owned company that adds diversity to the food industry and provides opportunities for minority owned products and businesses. And so they are pretty pissed off about the fact that now you can't find their, bit, their, their product. And they asked the question, how come all these knockoff brands are successful and we don't have a chance? They state, this is about minority owned companies getting a fair share and me and Snoop is going to be that force. Give black owned businesses a genuine chance to succeed and build the intergenerational wealth promised by the American dream. Now, we all know that Master P and Snoop, they got their hand in all kinds of shit. They got liquor, they got clothing line, you name it, these boys are doing it. And now they're trying to break into the cereal business. And for those of you that don't know how hard it is to get into retail, it's a really tough business. It's a tough business model to be able to sell and get that shelf space, especially in a big box leader like Walmart. And so the fact that they were even able to accomplish this, I think is success for black business all the while. But folks, I would be remiss if I told you that this is not the most ratchet shit in the world at the same time. Let's be honest, folks. Look at these two faces. Do you really want your kids eating cereal from these motherfuckers? Well, I wouldn't. But some of you nasty, no good motherfuckers or women out there who uh, you got these ugly ass kids running around here all hyped up on juicy juice and cereal. Anyway, most of these bitches, they spend their money at the, the local store. Anyway, they get all their groceries at Family Dollar, Dollar General and those places anyway. So I don't think they really give a fuck what they're going to feed these little ugly bastards. Now, me personally, I would not be buying cereal from them. Shout out. More power to your partners. I ain't mad. They ain't trying to stop your flow. But I ain't trying to buy no damn cereal for no kids to send them off into their day to, to think well and do well. And you packing in all these motherfucking cereals from Snoop Dogg and Master P. But I digress. I'm sure there are people out there that want these cereal, that need them. So, hey, go after the big boy if you want to. But from my take, Lee Black's take. Eat these little ugly motherfuckers something nutritional and stop buying this goddamn food uh, for these little fuckers that keep them running around. They got about enough problems already. ADD, CDD, and all kinds of shit. These little fuckers need to eat more fruit, more vegetables, and they need to have their ass beat. But Snoop Dogg and Master P, handle your business. This has been another TFG Ratchet Moment.